I had to laugh. The, the biggest joke this week was Darren Henfield came in with his entourage. You believe that? Darren came in with Pintal and Cartwright. I didn't see them. I didn't have time to waste film on Darren, Pintard, nor Shanador or Donador, Cartwright, or whoever the hell he is. It shows you lack of leadership within both parties because about 50 to 60 people, percent of people didn't come out to vote. To vote. They're not interested. But if Pintard could come here with Darren Henfield to try to have a meeting to make Darren to be significant, that shows lack of leadership on behalf of Pintard. Pintard, if you add up Darren's biggest constituency, Dundestown, Murphy Town, and Central Pines, I'd be Darren by over 200 votes collectively. And Darren was the third most powerful minister in that white nothing minutes administration. And I beat him with $500 in my back pocket. They sent me to jail. I couldn't campaign at night. I didn't get there. Up to date it registry book until one hour after the polls open. That Bodo gal from Kopastan withhold my registration so I was campaigning blindly. That's why I missed five, six hundred votes because they intentionally withheld the updated registry vote and book and I was an elected I was a running candidate that is the criminality that the FNM tried everything they, they snap election and they snap their throat God may make ugly but trust me you God don't like ugly and I want to let Darren Henfield and the FNM know Darren will never win the rights to run for chicken coop. We're not Abaco, we're not gonna accept him on nothing. He's done. Stick him the finger, stick the fork in him. He's done, man. He's out of there. Kai Kiss. Finish.